almost ready for Vlogmas, but there's just one more thing I need to do, and that is decorate the fireplace because this Vlogmas is all about spinning yarn and spinning tails by the fire. So I'm going to get that ready and then <laughs> Vlogmas begins. Hello, fiber friends, and welcome to Vlogmas. I was reminiscing about our previous Vlogmases, and I realized that this is the fourth year that I am doing a Vlogmas event on this channel. The very first year was a little bit scattered, a little bit random. It was sort of just about gifts I was making for my family and just random things we were doing around the house just holiday stuff. The second year happened in 2020 and a lot of people were unable to be with their families and I really wanted to do something to provide something that helped people feel connected with community and get some of that cozy holiday cheer and it was really an incredible event even through such difficult times it really was a special special thing that we created here for this vlogmas <laughs> community i guess the jillian eve community and that year mark the wheel daddy <laughs> took uh just different floofs of fiber and put them into little bags and he put a little blessing in each one and so i got to open that and enjoy the blessings with all of you um and if you want to go back and watch that feel free. Then the next year, which was last year, 2021, I created, I took the same idea and I created a box that people could unbox with me and we spun. That one was 25 days and I recorded and uploaded a video every single day. It was a lot. So this year I am doing 12 boxes, and so that will be 12 Vlogmas videos. I did create a box that you um, can spin with me if you were able to purchase one. They did sell out. I do have a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. But if you're spinning with me, this will be your box. And if you didn't get a chance to get one, I encourage you to spin along with anyway. Go to your fiber stash. and pick out some fiber or have a friend do it or a family member, someone you trust, so that it'll be a surprise and you can unbox and spin along with us. We are doing, this is the plan, but no spoilers, so don't worry. We are doing one ounce of fiber for 12 individual days and we're going to go every other day. That was something about last year. It was a lot for me to keep up with, and I know it was a lot for viewers to keep up with as well. A different spin every single day, that's pretty intense. So this year, I will be posting a video on the first, the third, the fifth, and so everyone will have two days to spin their ounce of fiber. And I think that will give us a little more freedom for schedules and whatever people are up to, to be able to keep up and spin along with vlogmas so that's the plan 
for this and we will get into the first box in just one moment but I did want to explain what the giveaway is. I am giving away one Vlogmas box and the way that you can enter to win that box is to leave a comment on this video. There are some mm, <laughs> scammers out there who are showing up in comment sections telling people that they've won something and they have a, a name that looks really similar to the channel name. So I want to be really, really clear. This is how you will know if you won. I will leave a comment on your comment to say you won and then I will also have a screenshot for the winner that will be posted in the community tab. And so that will be only there for, um, I'm the only one that can post there on this channel. So that will be really clear if you are the winner and if you are, you know, unsure or if we do get a scammer in the comments, reach out to me and I'll take care of that. So there will also be all of the nitty gritty details down in the description for this video. So good luck everyone. I hope that <laughs> um, <laughs> the odds are in your favor. I wish I had a box for absolutely everyone, uh, but I have this one. So we will <sighs> cross your fingers and cheer on the winner, whoever that may be. I will announce the winner on Saturday. Saturday will be the third. <laughs> so that will be the announcement of the winner. All right. So with that out of the way, I also wanted to do a quick mention about the theme for this year's Vlogmas. And the theme is spinning yarn and spinning tails by the fire. So expect there to be some cozy fireside kinds of thematic things going on for this Vlogmas, but also every day while I'm spinning, I am going to tell you a different tale. Some of these stories might be from my own life. Some of them are fair, fairy tales and folk tales, and some of them are just really interesting Christmas timey things that I dug up on the internet. So I hope that that will be a new feature of Vlogmas that we can all really enjoy. And um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to sharing some of these stories with you because I think that's going to be a lot of fun. All right, I know you want to see what's in day number one. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open day number one and then we are going to get spinning. So this is the box. I, um, I did design and do all the fancy things for uh, the box. I'm really happy with how it came out. I think it looks really pretty. In the front, it says warm blessings and it has the little fireplace there. It's supposed to look like my fireplace. <laughs> That's the theme, right? <laughs> all right, so let's take out day number one. They are double stacked. So we have six on top and then seven through 12 on the bottom row, the bottom layer. Okay, so here is number one. Let's see what's inside. Uh, of course, we have our blessings. And this is number one. It says, may you find joy in your fiber and community with your craft. I love this community. <laughs> so just like last year, I designed these cards so you can punch out the holes and you will have, in the, in the end, you will have a set of um, cards for card weaving or tablet weaving if that's something that you wanted to give a try. So here is our blessing. Now let's take a look at the fiber. This fiber is a BFL, which is Blue Face Lester and Silk Blend. And look at how these colors coordinate with the fireplace. Hmm, maybe there's a theme. So this is the fiber. I did dye all of this wool myself and it was a lot of wool. <laughs> But I had a great time and I hope that you find this um, 
to be cozy and warm as, as much as I do. All right, so each box also has a goodie or an extra besides the blessing and the fiber. <laughs> Just how many things can I fit in the box? So this is a vinyl sticker of our theme. It's the fireplace with a little plant right there. I have a poinsettia there. <laughs> there it is <laughs> over there. And then um, this is my matchless spinning wheel. Uh, so I just thought this was perfect to sort of summarize our theme. All right, let's take a look at this fiber. It's one ounce, but when you unroll one ounce, it actually starts to look like quite a bit of fiber. So I think to start out, I am going to do a two ply, which means two bobbins that I will ply together. And I'm just going to split it right in half in the middle. There we go. If yours doesn't slide apart right away, sometimes I'll just kind of floof it up and then it'll come right apart, boop, like that. So if you wanna make sure it's gonna draft nicely, you can just kinda of pull it side to side and floof it up, just like that. They did, they did get smooshed a little bit to go in the boxes, so we just wanna fluff that up. There we go. All right, so I'm going to spin this one with my ladybug. So let's get spinning. This is Vlogmas after all, so of course I'll be sharing a few spinning tips with you along the way because that's what I love to do is to just spread the joy of spinning and help you spin the yarn you want to spin. So here are a few tips for spinning a bulky yarn. I have my drive band on the largest whirl that I have. Typically, I will go larger for bulky. I have this set with scotch tension, and I have increased the tension just a little bit more than what I do when I am spinning finer yarns. Why is that? Well, the longer the yarn sits out here with me fussing with it, the more twist it's going to accumulate. And that's gonna make it really tough and stiff and it will start to kink up. And if you have a real feel for the twist in your fingers, you're gonna start drafting it out thinner and thinner and thinner to spread out that twist over more fibers. So if you want to have a bulkier yarn, you need to have less twist and you want it to get on the bobbin just a little quicker. Of course, you don't want it to rip out of your hands but turning up the tension just a little bit helps with a bulky yarn. One of the questions I'm frequently asked with a comb top such as this is what do I do when I start drafting down one side of it and another side of it starts sticking out. I'm trying to do it on purpose so I can demonstrate here um, but as you'll see it kind of splits into parts right and so what's common is to just draft down one side and then you still have these other sides hanging out and not joining the party, not getting spun into the yarn. And so what I like to do is to keep an eye on things and as I notice that one is starting to draft down the side, I'm going to just kind of flip it around, maybe draft it a little thinner to pull it out and get it to catch into the fibers of the other section that's not getting drafted out. And there we go. Now we are working on the longer section. Basically, I did a join. <laughs> I just kind of flipped it around so it was a little bit of a sneaky join. But basically, I did a join. So the other way to do that is just to pull out some floof Put your floof on floof and then start drafting so that it's floof with floof, <laughs> fuzzy bits with fuzzy bits. Uh, it won't work so well if you have fuzzy bits with twisted fibers that are already becoming yarn. Uh, that won't really work. That's where your, your joins will come apart. So floof with floof, that's how you do a join. So then as I go, I just kind of keep 
twisting and sort of like gathering up the other fibers. I'll kind of catch them with my finger and encourage them into the twist. And that helps me keep everything together. While I was making my hot chocolate to celebrate the first morning of Vlogmas, I looked outside and we were having an incredible windstorm. We have a row of pine trees across the back of our yard and they were just dancing and dancing in the wind. So that inspired me for which of our stories and poems to read for today. Robert Frost was an American Pulitzer Prize winning author and I remember studying him several times in school and he is the author of one of my very favorite poems, Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening by Robert Frost. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village though. You will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. And the first Vlogmas spin is finished. Here it is. I got about 36 yards of this bulky yarn and it is, oh, it's so squishy and it's very springy. I love this yarn. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Now I wanted to mention as we go into Vlogmas further, if you want to, you can make one project with all of the spins in the box. So keep that in mind as you consider whether or not you want to do some very adventurous spins and make everything different gauges, or if you want to keep things a little bit more consistent for your spin so that you could put all of it together into one final project, whatever that may be. So. That said, I think that for me, I am going to do some variation because I think that just keeps it more fun and that way I can share different tips with all of you in each of the videos. So what would you like to see me spin for box number two? Now, I mentioned at the beginning, and I just want to clarify one more time, that these videos are going to publish on the odd number days. So that'll be one, three, five, etc. Uh, but I will have some live streams during the month that will just kind of be surprise pop-up live streams, and those would be on the even number days. I will also have some spinning in the crafty chat time on my Discord. So if you did purchase a Vlogmas box, you should have a code to get into the Discord if that is something you are interested in. And uh, if you didn't get a Vlogmas box, you can join my Patreon. Any tier will get you into the Discord. So let me know what you would like to see me spin next. That is your entry for the giveaway for one Vlogmas box announced on Saturday. 
I look forward to seeing your spins either in the Discord or on social media. If you do post your spins, make sure you don't spoil anything. So wait to post that days until after my video goes up, but use the hashtag JillianEveVlogmas22 and that way I'll be able to follow that hashtag and see all of your wonderful spinning. So that wraps it up for day number one. We are on our way. Happy spinning and merry vlogmas.